<laughs> hey guys, Miss Danny here. Okay, so I was just reading. I love studying the law, as most of you know, but I have this book, it's against the law, and it's got all these funny and crazy laws across our country. And it's really interesting. Like in my home state of South Carolina, it's a against the law for people to crawl around in the public sewers without a written permit from the proper authorities. I wouldn't want to go crawling in a sewer. Anyway, really, that kind of makes sense when you think about it. You don't want somebody down there who doesn't, shouldn't be there. Well, you know, in Connecticut, there's actually a law that says that in order for a pickle to be sold, the law says that a pickle, when you drop it, it has to bounce. That seems like a strange law until you really start. I like to study about why these laws came in. Apparently, there were these two men in Connecticut who were selling pickles that were making people really, really sick. They weren't good to eat. So they decided, how do we decide if a pickle is good for human consumption? We'll drop it and if it bounces, so we'll pass a law. Well, I guess it kind of makes sense in a way. Uh, well, let's get closer to home. There are some really great and funny, crazy laws here in Florida. You know, in Pensacola, it is actually illegal to roll a barrel down the street. As a matter of fact, the fine you get is kind of dependent upon what's in the barrel. Well, when you think about it, that kind of makes sense because if you're rolling a barrel and you lose control of it, it could hit somebody and really hurt somebody. Okay, so maybe that isn't really a crazy law. Do you know in Sar down in Sarasota, if you have to pay the same, at a parking meter, you have to pay the same fee as, as a car if you tie up an elephant, an alligator, or a goat. Okay, I don't know why I'd be tying an alligator to a parking meter. But it kind of makes sense, because I'm not going to park my car at a parking meter where there's an elephant. I'm sure not going to if there's an alligator. And so the, money loses, the, the city loses money that way. So really, that law kind of makes sense. Now, in Florida, we also have a law that if you plant a uh, flower in a flower pot, you have to make sure it has a drainage hole. That is actually a law. It is illegal to have a flower pot without a drainage hole. Oh, and so a lot of people are like, well, that's stupid. Well, for those of us who live in Florida, we have a real problem with a little insect called a mosquito. Well, if you don't have proper drainage in a flower pot, the water gathers and it makes a breeding ground for these mosquitoes. It's where they lay their eggs. So while that law seems stupid and foolish on the surface, it really makes sense for those of us who live here. It's for to protect the public. Now, did you know the Bible actually had a lot of laws for the Israelites? Now, we all know about the Ten Commandments, but did you know if you read through the Old Testament, there are actually over 600 laws that God had for the Israelites. Now, some of those laws, you know, thou shalt not murder, thou shalt not steal, lie. We know those, but there are some, like there was one, it, it's in Deuteronomy, where if you have a terrace, on the top of your house, you're supposed to have a railing. Well, that's so people don't fall off. You're, they're protecting people. Do you know there was actually a law that said that you had to wash your dishes after you ate? You had to clean your dishes before you reused them. Because we're all going, ew. But you gotta remember, back then, they didn't know about germs and the stuff we know about now. So that was to keep them safe and healthy. So you see, God had all of these laws not only to help keep them safe, that most of our laws are that, it's to keep us safe and healthy. But there was another reason for all those laws, and it was to help show us that we're sinners. Well, how, Miss Danny? Well, here's the thing. There is no way we can keep all the laws. We're sinners. We've all broken at least one law and we're guilty and I know what you're saying well Miss Danny though I've never done anything really bad you know I'm not as bad as maybe that kid over there well let's look at this James 2 10 stay, states for whoever shall keep the whole law and yet offend in one point he is guilty of all. So if you commit one sin and, and what is what it's a sin a sin is anything we think say or do that is against God's word. So if you commit one sin, you're guilty of all. It's kind of like, okay, under our laws right now, if you and four friends, let's say, went out to commit a crime, let's say you were gonna rob a store. Let's just, I know you wouldn't, but let's pretend. So you're gonna go rob a store. Well, in the process of robbing the store, one of your friends 
murder somebody who's in the store and another one sets fire to the building and burns it down well here's the thing even though you were just committing the robbery under the law you will be charged and you're guilty of robbery murder and arson if you're guilty of one you're guilty of all so you've got to remember that we're all sinners the only one who has never sinned is jesus christ and we've talked about that and the reason being is jesus was fully man and fully god now he kept all of the law now he was the only one who could take the punishment for our sins because he was perfect now romans 3:23. let's talk about that real quick uh, 324, sorry, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. So once we trust Christ as our Savior, we are justified. Now, wait a minute, Miss Danny, what does justified mean? Justified means made right with God. Wait, let me let me see if I can explain this better. Um, justified. It's to be judged by God as innocent as righteous. Now, now wait, what does righteous mean? Righteous means perfectly good always doing what God says to do. So our faith has made us justified. When we accept Jesus as our savior, we are justified. We are seen innocent in God's eyes. Now, it's this is by God's grace through our faith in Jesus Christ. Your, your memory verse, Galatians 3.11, but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of God. It is evident for the just shall live by faith. You see, the purpose of all these law of our of God's laws is to help show us we need a savior. It's kind of a mirror to show us the the sin in our lives. Now, once we're saved, do we just stop sinning? No. No, because we're human. Unlike Jesus, we're not perfect. We, but when we trust Jesus and we really start reading his word and studying the Bible and praying to Jesus, we want to start being more like him. We want to start being more Christ-like. We want to start living more the way God wants us to live. And the Holy Spirit, which lives inside of us, helps us to be more Christ-like. And so that's why we have the laws. And that is your Bible study 4.2 this week. I hope you're keeping up with it. Um, and I hope y'all are doing well. By the way, um, I already got a question about the the... I want to go for some of you on virtual and home you've been asking about earning your go patches this year we are doing that um, I've mainly been doing that with the clubbers who have been showing up in person however and, and you know things are a little different now so what we're gonna do is it's a little hard I know to donate to ra help raise money Oops, dropped it um, to raise money for the patch so what we're gonna do is you of course have to do your go sections this is totally optional and I need you to come up with two activities for you to do. Look on pages, I think it's six and seven or five and six or something like that, in the front of your book and come up with something you can do. Maybe you can send a card to somebody. Maybe you can send a letter. Maybe you can help a neighbor. Maybe you have an older neighbor and you could just take the garbage out for them. They could put it outside their door. You could take it to the trash can for them. Think of something you can do and then let me know. And I will help make sure you get your patch. We're doing the blue patches this year, I think. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, I love you guys. Um, I hope you're doing well and I sure do miss you. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye-bye.